five, four, three, two, one. Hey, hippies, hipsters, yippies, and all the assorted brethren lost on the plains, good morning and peace to you. You know my PhD's in education, so I gravitate back to that subject occasionally, and that's the flavor, so to speak, of our cookie today. The etymological root of the word teach harkens back to that most powerful gesture of which people are capable, to point. It was first used in that context back on the plains of Central Asia in the Trans-Caucasus, back in the mists of memory. From there, probably as a guttural glottal monosyllable, it migrated west into the Germanic languages and south through India into Greece, where it morphed into dyxis. There is a class of adjectives and pronouns in English grammar, well, most grammars, called dyctic. The, their, this, that, these, those, they, and them exhaust the class in English. Each of them acts to point to a particular thing, you will note, but that may be beside the point, which is that teaching is nothing more or nothing less than directing the attention in, a, in some way, either by word or action, gesture, to an important and impingent phenomenon, either look or look out. So in practice, anyone who sees and is aware of their surroundings enough at least to pick out anomalies or exceptions, etc., may be, and probably since we're all in this together, should be a teacher. Teaching, then, is pointing to facts in such a way as to invite others to see and understand them. Everyone can teach something, but I'd argue that a teacher has a wider ambit. Their view is larger, wider, better informed. And learning is what happens later when we reflect upon and discuss what we have observed. So if you look around for something that the test-happy factoid corporate sponsored curriculum of the U.S. schools actually points students toward, the real purpose of schooling in the corporate U.S. of A. appears to be to induct graduates seamlessly with an A and seamlessly with an E to the consumer curriculum of the corporate state media for the rest of their lives. Pedagogy is an interesting word too. We use it to mean the art of teaching and you can trace the metaphorical connection easily back enough through the root which was the label attached to the slaves who led the master's children to and from the academy. Pedagogue. We see in the continuous and baleful attacks on teachers, especially among public servants, how that pernicious aurora of presumptive servitude regarding teachers' status persists even into today. And that's how that cookie crumbles, hippies. By the way, stop by the store on your way out, check out the shirts, tees, and tanks, those cool amulets, and stock up on bumper stickers. There'll be more cool stuff in there pretty soon, too. Thanks.